to read, we can talk about what we discovered are the issues, problems of all sorts of entrepreneurs because that's what we're trying to organize. We're trying to look at this group of people, we're trying to look at their school, we're reviewing what they're doing. We already created a consultancy unit within our operation just to be with social entrepreneurs. That was four or five years ago, right? And this was the first general manager of all. And we, we've been contending with that. And I think that there are all sorts of questions that we have discovered that are maybe things that we really should share. Because you're right in the middle of that. And this is asking me to put up funds to create a and the people you're dealing with, I think there's another side to that story, which maybe Marie can share with you. The nuts and bolts issues related to social entrepreneurship in this country, which is illustrative for the rest of the Asian actually. Because I'm seeing the same discussion, except they don't have an Atene. And I'm, a, and I'm from another school, I'm from La Salle. So this is a big thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't matter. But our school is not like that. We just produce people who want to become millionaires. Their school is <laughs> 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 This is former dean of the business school of our school. We are all from La Salle. <laughs> we, we practice shared value. <laughs> Different definition. <laughs> yeah, no, go ahead. I would first argue against the monopoly of anime and the Yeah. Uh, but I, I mean ever since I graduated seven years ago, uh, from from college, but ever since then I've been meeting several people in the social enterprise like Cherry is from the Science State University. Uh, happy culture university. But uh, along the way, me and my friends, because the social enterprise community is very small here, it's always about to I actually came into BCYM while I was running my own business. So straight from college, we, we pursued our thesis project, which won a grant, and we worked with the digital communities for fashion products as well. But it's always the scalability and sustainability that's a problem. And I think, well, that's why I decided to really like help BCYM, because I recognize that we really need a lot of mentoring, uh, especially for a young, impressionable person, college doesn't really know what I mean we've been taught business but to actually experience business in a different manner. Uh, in my own experience of course it's the dynamic of how you think about social enterprise and marrying it with business, how do you marry the social impact with business. So in my case I really came from the more development oriented side. I'm not a community person and I volunteer. Although I came from business school. However my, my teammates hardcore business up with the, grew up through a helping the family business at the age of two years old. So money is always the most important thing. And we've had several arguments in the years, whether to focus on community or to focus on business. And it was a very quite uh, traumatic experience for a young person to be exposed to those kinds of uh, initiatives, uh, I mean arguments. But it really was very formative as well. Uh, and I think this is something that if I still continue to help you do it, because it, <coughs> I, sorry, because uh, the, the conversations of the real challenges of running a business and achieving that social impact needs to be laid out in the open, especially for young people. Because right now it's still a no tinted tax for me. Uh, so I think also from, because I attended the ASEAN Embassy Summit in India, I also that's where I came. And mentoring was also very much.
lot of awarding parties about how their awarding is changing part of it, but it's not automatic, but some awards are... Anyway, I think